guys, it's Mel coming to you from Mel's Foxy Favorites. I have a really cool video for you guys today. I'm just going to show you some cute, unique, inexpensive gifts that you can give. Um, the first one I wanted to show you is just a Valentine's gift basket that I'm giving to my husband. It is after Valentine's Day, yes. It's late. I gave him his part of his present, which was shoes, but I did not finish this basket. Well, I finished the basket. I didn't finish the video in time, so I told him that I wanted to show you guys first before I gave it to him. Um, let me just give you a quick view of the big basket. This is the basket. I will stand up and show you. It's just full of tons of candies, sweet little things. Um, let me just go through a couple of them. I do have some fake champagne in here. Just, um, just the fake champagne that you buy at the store. And then I got these two cute champ well, wine glasses um, at the dollar store. They say hugs, kisses, have little hearts, um, and X's and O's on them. So those are a cute touch to add to that. I have this very cute little rock, um, decorative rock that says, I love you. I have tons of his favorite candy, Reese's peanut butter cups, chocolates, pot of gold, I have these really cute love cuffs. I don't know if you can see them, but they are fuzzy love cuffs. I put those on there. I have um, two little stuffed animals, just little ones. One pink, one brown. Husband and wife, cutesy, cutesy little love bird animals. I put those in there. I have these really cute coupons. They're love coupons. Um, let me show you a close-up of them. They say different things like back rub, breakfast in bed, different things and I just they came on one sheet at the dollar store as well so I just cut them apart and then I just used glue dots to stick them on all over the basket so that they could be kind of shown all over um then I just have a balloon a bunch of different candy stuff that he likes and a book my husband and I like to read books together at night sometimes so I got this book it's just called Amore it is just different um love quotes in there so that is in there as well so that's the basket um i have a few more things to go in it that i'm going to show you guys right now that are oh i almost that are very cute so the first one is a plate it's a decorative plate it is a plate that i wrote on i wrote the lyrics to one of our songs called heaven um i just tied a tool ribbon around it but I'm going to take that off right now so I can show you guys up close a little bit of that. Um, but I just wrote out the lyrics. Then I have a plate stand so that he can put it out or display it. And it's just a really cute personal gift. So this plate, sorry, this stand is just a stand I got from the dollar store. So you can put that out and display this gift. And then this plate is just kind of a meaningful gift because it's personal. Um, you can write your own handwriting. Um, I wrote, the, I just wrote Dear Mike, and then I wrote the lyrics to one of our songs. And then I wrote Happy Valentine's Day, Love Mel. So that is the plate. It's super cute. I have a lot of really unique personalized gift ideas that I want to do another video on soon. But I just wanted to quickly tell you guys how I do that plate thing. It's super simple and super cheap. Um, I think you can either use a Sharpie or you can use Sharpie oil-based paint pen, which is this. Um, or you can use the Zig paint pen, which is this. Um, I prefer using the Sharpie just because I like the tip. Um, it's kind of hard to right on a plate and if you don't like your handwriting it's even harder to make it look good like in your own eyes but the sharpie makes it easier it's a good tip it works well I like the skinny tip but you can use any of these pens and you can just um the best thing to do is clean the plate make sure it's clean with rubbing alcohol I just got that plate at the dollar store it's just a glass plate I thought it was cute because it was kind of a square shape but I did get several other plates to try and do other things with. And then you just draw your design or um, your words. You can use a pencil first if you want to. I didn't. I just winged it. 
hopefully ho hoping I didn't mess up and I didn't but if you want to and you're trying it out for the first time or you have a hard time liking your handwriting you might want to write it on with a pencil and then you just color it with the permanent paint pens or the sharpie and then you just need to put the plate in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 just so it kind of sets and let the plate cool so um you can use these plates. I'm just using this as a decorative plate like I showed you the little stand that you can put on it. But you can also use these to put on um, like cookies or cupcakes or anything like that. Just put a napkin <coughs> excuse me, underneath. Um, if you want to make safe plates like to actually eat on, you can also do that. I'm just reading my little note so that I don't forget anything about those plates. But um, if you want to do that, you can draw on the back of the plate. Just make sure that you reverse the designs and then still do the exact same thing. So put the plate in the oven and all of that, and then you can use them to eat on. Um, and then just wash with soap and water, though, by hand if you're going to use them that way. Don't put them in the dishwasher because it will ruin them. But like I said, I don't use those decorative kind of plates for food. Um, it would be cute to put um, cupcakes and little candies and chocolates and maybe cookies or whatever on them for a party. But I like the idea of using those for just decora decoration. And it's a very personalized gift, so um, I wanted to show you that. And then I also wanted to just tell you that's going to go inside the gift basket. I just didn't put it in yet because um, I wanted to show you that. And then I have done lately a video on my sprocket printer. So I will link that video down below. It's just this little sprocket printer. It is a wireless printer by HP. It prints pictures from your phone. I did show kind of a tutorial on how to use it and some of the things that you could use it for. But I just wanted to quickly show you something that I've found lately. Oh, this is the paper, this is the picture paper that goes in it. It comes in 20 and it's zinc photo paper for the sprocket printer. I'm going to link my video down below, but this is the paper you use and it does have sticker backing if you wanted to use it as a sticker. And it is very, very good quality pictures. I was really surprised. I really like the quality of the pictures. I love the sprocket printer. I've done tons of cute stuff with it. Um, like I said, I have another video on it already on my channel. And also I have tons of um, cute ideas um, that I've discovered lately to use it for, so I am going to show you that, but I wanted to quickly just show you this little frame that I discovered at the dollar store recently. Um, I should actually be a promoter for the dollar store because it seems like every other word I say in my videos is dollar store. But this frame is the perfect size. It is a two by three small silver frame this one is still in the package, but it does have the stand. It can go either way. So this is only a dollar, and the pictures that you can print from your sprocket printer print fit perfect. So it's a quick, easy thing. Cheap, cheap, cheap little gift. Very personal gift. Um, I am putting this in my husband's gift basket. This is a picture of us. I printed out on the sprocket printer, which is super good quality, that picture. I don't know how well you can see it, but... Um, we went to an early Valentine's Day dinner here in town. We live in Tooele at a place called Jim's, and we had prime rib and lobster. Well, I had prime rib and lobster, and my husband had steak and lobster. It was delicious, and that's just a, a little selfie we took of us on our Valentine's Day dinner. So I wanted to put that in the basket. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly how perfect that fits in that frame and how good quality that picture is, and it's going to look so cute in the basket and he is going to love it so I am going to put the plate in and also the little picture that I printed out my sprocket printer and then also I did go to get one more picture made at Walmart um, but then I went to pick it up today and it wasn't done because their machine was broken so I can't show you guys that but I do have that to put in the basket as well. And then it's done, so hopefully I can give it to him tomorrow because I'm sure he's sick of waiting because I say to everything, I have to make a video first. Probably drives him crazy. The next thing I want to show you is a simple little thing. It's just a little deer pillow. Soft, cute. Got it at Walgreens. I think $7.99 for that. And then I just tied a little ribbon on 
and I put, this is for my stepson Dakota, and I put Dear Dakota, and I don't know, I put D-E, you can't even see that because of the light, but I put D-E-E-R Dakota, love you dearly, D-E-R-L-Y instead of the other dearly, happy Valentine's Day, and he is, they are huge hunters, they love deer, this is just a cute little pillow, it is kind of like, I don't know, I just thought it was really cute, and it's very soft, and he's going to love that, and I'm going to put a box of candy with that when I give that to him, but I just wanted to show you guys that really quick, because it was cute. Um, simple, but cute. And then I was going to show you a few other gifts, ideas. Um, one of them is very simple, and it's kind of Valentine-ish too, so I'm going to show that to you first. It is just a little box. So the box goes like this. I did get this at the dollar store as well. It is a cute box. Then I filled it up with conversation hearts. So I don't know if you can see those, but I'm ruining the whole concept of it. Filled it up with conversation hearts. And then I put three paparazzi rings inside of there. So really the gift is the rings. And I'm trying to fix them, but it's not working out so good. So because I tipped it to show you guys. But really the gift is the rings. I just thought it was a cute little idea to put them in the box to display them. Sorry, I'll show you the rings. So there's a little heart ring for Valentine's Day. There's a little pink ring with the um, diamonds and then the other pink ring silver and pink and I just put the big heart in the middle the two other rings on the side just as a cute little gift display um, there's velcro there so it says happy valentine's Day, Anna, and I'm just going to tie a great big pink ribbon on top and it's a very cute way to give jewelry as a gift and display it and also these paparazzi rings are awesome I'm wearing one right now they are stretchy back so they fit almost everybody and that's just a cute way to give those as a gift too. So the next thing I'm going to show you is something that me and my mom made for my, well, my mom made it for my dad and I made it for my husband a couple of years ago. Um, I couldn't find mine, so I borrowed my mom's. It wasn't this Valentine's Day, but it was so cute that I just thought that I had to show you guys. And we just did it out of playing cards and it is called 52 Reasons I Love You. And we just got a set of playing cards. We used a lot of black ink. Um, I just use this um, Studio G ink a lot to ink around the edges of things. I just like how that looks. And so I just do that a lot on things. And it just adds a little finishing touch to it. Um, this is just um, a deck of playing cards that we got for cheap. That I'm untying the ribbon. Then we put the three ring binders there to hook it together. We punched holes in each one and then we just made a book. So we just made a book of 52 reasons why I love you. So some of my moms are, you take us out for early morning rides. You are the very best husband ever. You love me just the way I am. You are handsome. You give me hope. And we just kind of decorated them up and um, put them, little embellishments here and there, stickers, um, little eyeballs. That one says, you only have eyes for me. And we put the little googly eyes. Um, of course, we didn't put everything the same. This one says, you support me in every way. We put all different um, kinds of things on our in our books because, of course, we have different husbands and we have different things that we love about them um, on the last page we put well my mom put you truly are the love of my life I love you forever and always this was actually in 2014 so it was longer than I thought but it was like four years ago and then she signed so my mom's name is Sue so she signed so we just tied a bunch of little ribbons on the edge Again, 52 reasons why I love you. If we wanted to stick anything metal on, we would just use, uh, well, here she, she did a paper clip. 
Oh, look, there's a cute picture of my mom and dad inside there, just so you can see how cute they are. They're cute. Um, you can use glue dots or sticky dots to make that. So that's very cute. And then this ribbon was just tied around it. Um, that is 52 Reasons Why I Love You. It's super inexpensive and very unique and very personal. It did take a lot longer than we thought it would, but that's probably because, see, like my mom inked around everything in the brown ink. The same kind of ink I just showed you, but brown. I did mine in black, but we kind of tend to go overboard and make things harder than they should be. But it did turn out so darling, and I just wanted to show you guys that because I loved it. And I couldn't find mine. So, next I'm going to show you just a, ju a cute jewelry gift. Valentine's Day, birthday, whatever. This one is a little cup wine glass I got at the dollar store. This one says girly girl and it has lipstick all around it, so it doesn't even have to be for Valentine's Day. I took two colors of tulle. I took black and pink and just tied a big bow on it. Then I just got these bag of flat rocks. I think I got these at Michael's. They're just the bag of clear flat rocks and stuck them in. And then I have a tea light candle in there. Oops. So that you can use this as a candle holder. And then I'm just showing you ways that you guys can give away jewelry to, as gifts and make them cute and unique. So I just put three pairs of paparazzi earrings hanging from that glass. And that is such a darling, darling gift. And it's such a nice way to give earrings instead of just putting them in a box. You can spruce it up, make things cute, and give something personal and something, four pairs of earrings. Give something personal and something that people would really, really know that you spent time doing. So I don't know what that noise was. Next, I have kind of the same concept. I ate half of these, um, but I just filled this cute clear plastic jar with conversation hearts, the larger ones. I tied a big pink ribbon around it, and then I hung these darling paparazzi bracelets from it. So they're just the three set of pink. They're mine. I own them. Um, I just kind of used some of my stuff to show some of the gift ideas I had. So that's also really cute, cheap, and so simple. And it just makes your gift look so much better than and sweeter than just handing them a box with three bracelets in it. So that is a really cute, easy, simple idea. Um, the next one I have is a stuffed animal, and it is a fox. My husband actually gave me this stuffed animal for Valentine's Day because I'm, I love foxes. But it's just a cute little fox. But then I took the white and silver set of the stretchy bracelets from paparazzi put them around their his neck as the gift so that would be good for a teenager that would be good for a little girl if you had little girls jewelry that would be good for a mom anybody and it's just a personal cute little way to give these these bracelets on a little stuffed animal around their neck so it's so easy and simple and it just adds something to what you're giving people as gifts then i have Something else, quite simple too. These are just little lollipop suckers. I just got them at the dollar store. I tied them with a big gold bow out of the tool and then I just taped on a pair of paparazzi earrings to give them as a gift. So the earrings just are taped right on there but there is sucker or lollipops and a big bow and it just makes it cute. It makes it just personal. That's what I like about these gifts is they just look personal and cute. And all you're really doing is giving them the earrings as the gift, but you're just adding your special touch to it so that it's really cute and really special and unique. And same thing with the next thing I'm gonna show you. It's the same thing. Um, I just put it in a little, one of the little plastic shot glasses. Hope you guys can see these good. Plastic shot glasses. I, you can get like 12 for a dollar. I put in some of those flat um, clear pebbles, the lollipops with the big pink bow, and then I put the paparazzi set of the stretchy red and silver jewelry on there. 
that's also mine but I'm just using all of my stuff to show these cute and unique gifts so that is such a cute way to just add a special touch make it your own make it personal you could put a card on hang a little tag for whatever occasion and I guarantee that whoever you give it to is going to love the fact that you just made it personal and that you just spiced it up a little bit and made it cute and then this next one is kind of the same concept. It's the, again this little shot glass. I have one of the um, paparazzi wrap bracelets on there. I did have to tape the back because it was too big but I just put in some of the little clear rocks again. Taped on that darling wrap paparazzi bracelet. Put it in one of those shot glasses as well and put some little flowers in it on top. So this would be perfect for Mother's Day, perfect for a girlfriend's birthday. Just such a perfect, unique little gift. And I mean, it's very inexpensive, very easy. It's not hard or not really hard to make, but it just adds, it just adds something. It just lets them know that you care about them. It's kind of like when you're giving a card and you give a personalized card that you actually made because they know that you spent the time to make the card and you didn't just run down and grab a card. So it just gives us a little personal touch. The next one I have is letter, a letter. I love to make letters. I have M's all over my room. I love to have M's for Melanie. But this is an M that I decorated a little bit. And all I did really was <clears throat> paint the M pink. Then I, this is washi tape. So this black and white flowered washi tape. And then this silver sparkly. It's just washi tape. It is just... Um, in these rolls, there is the two washi tapes that I used, just wrapped them around and we used to have to mod podge on paper and well, you still can, but make it a lot harder to do. And now it's so much simpler with the washi tape. So it is just on there. I stuck on these two little jewel embellishments and then I put a little bow on the top. I just used glue dots to glue that on. And then I put the silver set. This is also my, my bracelets. And I don't even know if they come in a set. They do somehow, but I mix and match mine. So they're all just a mess. But that, I just hung those bracelets right over the M. So that is another cute way to give a gift of jewelry. Give bracelets, but also give a cute little um, crafty thing that you made. And that is just a letter. You can, I am going to for sure do a video coming soon on letters because I have a ton of letters and I make a ton of letters and I love them so I am going to have that coming up soon a video on that um, then I also took just a little teeny clear let me show you this way little teeny clear um, container where you get 12 for a dollar as well put four pebbles in it and put two paparazzi rings in there for a gift or, you know, to display. That would be really cute to display as well. Um, I didn't put any ribbon on there because when I tried, it just looked like it was too gaudy and too big. So I took off the, um, I took off the bow, but you could put a bow on that. Then I have another thing that's kind of unique as well. It is just one of those sleep masks. It is still in the package. It's really cute because it's the zebra print. And then I took um, the set, and I know this is a set because I love it, um, a paparazzi bracelet stretchy set that has the turquoise, two turquoise, and the one silver with the hearts in it. I hooked that on. I put a great big white and pink tool bow on there. And then I just put one of these little cute cards that I had um, with the little heart eyelashes and I just wrote inside of it keep calm and enjoy your jewelry so I thought that was a little cute saying to go with the sleep mask and that's another cute way to personalize the gift and make it your own it's a very inexpensive this was at the dollar store I had these cards these um, of course all of the paparazzi jewelry is five dollars each and then you can get a great big roll of tool for like a dollar you can use I use over and over so that is a really cute and unique little gift idea as well um, you could probably put 
a lot of different sayings. You could do this for a slumber party. You could do this for so many things. And it's just cute, and it just adds a little bit of a touch to it, to giving away the jewelry. Then I have, the next thing I have is um, actually a little block. This one says, I adore you. It is on a little block that was painted silver. And it does have this little stand. Um, these come, these are at Michael's. You can get the wood block, you can get the stand, you can paint them whatever color. And when it's done, I haven't glued it on yet. That is how it looks. And as what I did is I took a wrap bracelet. So it's one of those wrap bracelets from Paparazzi and I stuck it on top. And that is a cute, cute, unique gift idea. Um, super easy. I will actually show you what I used really quick to do that. Um, and you can put whatever kind of wrap bracelet. You could also put stretchy. You could put a necklace. You could put whatever you wanted with that. It is cute, easy, simple. It's not quite as simple as some of the other ones just because you do have to paint the stand, paint the block. But all you really need and all I used on the square block is journal cards. Here's two journal cards. Um, I get these usually at Michael's and they also have them at Joann's and they're just called journaling cards. This one says she designed a life she loved. This one says you and me. They fit exactly perfectly on the square. So you just stick it on the square like that. You get Mod Podge. And all you do is you just get one of these brushes, you dip it in the Mod Podge, and you just put it on. That's all you do. You cover it, and of course this isn't painted, and the other one was painted gold. And you just paint that, stick that on, Mod Podge it, paint the little stand if you want. You don't even have to have a stand. It's just as cute like this. And glue it right on. It's a cute gift, very um, unique. It shows people that you thought about them. Um, this again, I did the wrap bracelet on top from Paparazzi. Very cute way to give a gift. It's a $5 for the bracelet. These are some other wrap bracelets I have. Here's a red one that would look really cute. Here's a brownish one. Um, those would both look really cute. They're stretchy so that you could wrap them any way you wanted on that little thing. And that is just a way to give a cute jewelry gift that's unique and personalized and that again you use Maj Posh for that. Maj Posh I also get at Michael's. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it you can even get it at the dollar store but it's like a little bottle um, but I use it for everything so I have a lot a big bottle of it and then quickly I just want to show you this. This is also a cute idea. Um, you don't have to use this as a gift. I actually use this to display some of my own bracelets um, but it's just a pink glass jar filled with the flat rocks, bead, or rocks, not really rocks, pebbles. And then I have some of my turquoise jewelry on here. I have two white stretchy bracelets and then my white bracelet and then my favorite, one of my favorite turquoise um, cuff bracelets. But I didn't put any bows on that because I wanted to show you guys what some of the stuff looked like without a bunch of bows because I'm very bow oriented, flashy, embellishment type girl. So if you guys don't like so much, you don't have to do that every time, but you could put a bow on. Um, you could give this as a gift with bracelets on top, hang some earrings from the top if you wanted, or you could do something like this for your own room or your office to display some of your own jewelry or jewelry that you're selling. So that's a really cute thing I just wanted to show you. And I think that is pretty much it. Quickly though, before I go, I am just going to show you, I have done a video on this already and it is up on YouTube. So if you guys wanna watch that, it is how to make an earring display out of a cheese grater. It's a really cute idea and I will also link the, the video down below. Um, but this is what that looks like. I'm sure most of you have seen it already. It is just a cheese grater. I just got the cheese grater at Walmart. I want to find a different kind of cheese grater that has the big holes on this side as well. But I just painted it with um, pink spray paint. 
went over it with the glitter paint, put some little flowers on it, tied some big bows on top, and then I just stuck all kinds of my paparazzi earrings in the holes to display them. The side has those kind of big lines, so you can put earrings in those as well. And that is how that looks. It is a really cute, unique thing. Um, you can give this as a gift. You can put one pair of earrings, two pair of earrings. You can fill it up with earrings. You don't even have to put earrings. You can just say, here's your earring holder. You can use it for yourself to display earrings. You can use it for your lives. You can use it for so many different things and it's super cute. I love it. I'm gonna be making some more for gifts. Um, and I do, like I said, have a video. If you guys want to catch that video, it'll just give you step-by-step um, -step instructions on how to make that. So anyway, I think that is, should be all that I have for you guys today. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have so many ideas in my head that I can't even get them all done. But I have so many awesome, cool, creative videos coming up. So subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And if any of you guys want to see any of this jewelry that I've shown you, plus a ton, ton, ton more of awesome, neat $5 jewelry, then join my jewelry group. It's just Melanie, or excuse me, it's Mel's. Foxy Favorites $5 Paparazzi. So you can just join that group if you'd like. Um, if you can, please like and share so that everybody can see all of these cool and unique ideas. And that's all I have for you. Thanks, everybody. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.